Maybe the three of us could do something like that then. That would be nice. But yeah, Van Helsing said it. Do you still have that character that you created specifically for our playthrough on Van Helsing? Because I know you made a different character to do on your own, but I wasn't sure if you still kept the character you had. Um, because if we're still at that same exact spot from our playthrough, I would love to continue it. I, you know, I didn't forget about that. I want to, I want to play uh, the rest of that game. As a matter of fact, it's pretty funny. You do still have it? Okay, awesome. Um, somebody actually made a comment on one of my YouTube videos from that playthrough, from our playthrough, and said, where are the rest of the videos? This isn't the end of the game, is it? <laughs> and I said, no, there's more videos, I just haven't, you know, haven't yet done the rest with Sonic yet. But, um, yeah, I do, I do want to finish the game. It's at the same place where we left off. Awesome. Well, so is mine. So yeah, we'll be able to continue. That's good to know, man. That's awesome. Oh, I got a red shield. Hang on. Fire Ward. You know what? Do I want the HP plus 5% or do I want Fire Ward? Uh, I might put Fire Ward... Yeah. I'm gonna put Fire Ward on for now. Actually, that didn't reduce my HP by a heck of a lot anyway. But I'm gonna put Fire Ward on for now. This way, I'm fighting a lot of bombs. I don't have to worry about that as much with when they attack Titus. But by the way, guys, have you... Yeah, man, definitely with the coffee. You completed season 63, Guardian Witch Doctor Paragon 1000. Oh my god, Zedek! <laughs> so you decided to play season 6, huh? Yeah. I don't know. D3, I think at this point, for me, D3 is going to need to either release another expansion, or if I really, really, I don't know, something that really is going to hook me in or something. Maybe if, I don't know. I don't know, I, I don't think, I'm, I'm so burnt down on D3 right now, I don't think I can do it anymore. And I really like the freedom that, you know, not playing D3 gives me <laughs> for playing other games and stuff. For example, like all the RPGs and different games I've been playing through. I've been able to, you know, play a lot of decent games that Noxay recommended to me, like Ori and the Blind Forest and Dust, and, you know, things like that that I never really committed a whole lot of time to because I was playing D3 so much. But Final Fantasy X that I'm playing right now, I've wanted to play for a long, 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 long time. So, uh, I'm glad that I'm able to get, you know, get into it now. You're done with Wizard, you made a Witch Doctor, really. Well, if I ever came back to D3, I'd be playing Wizard, so we'd have two different classes again. But, that's interesting. I wonder why you just got burned down on Wizard, you think? Oh, I took care of that fiend for you. Oh, did you? Well, thanks a lot. <laughs> Do I want to, yes, I want to ride a chocobo. Move far, move left, move near, move right. Okay. Alright, well, I actually don't want to ride a chocobo right now. We're going to have to do that in the next stream because I don't have a whole lot of time left. There's a couple different things I... Oh, nice, here's the save point. There's a couple different things I have to do regarding uh, chocobos to get the platinum trophy in this game. And there are... They're really, really tedious. Um, a lot of them are extremely luck-based, where really it's only by luck that you would um, that you would get, you know, do what you have to do and complete a race in a certain amount of time and do different things like that. And that's gonna that's gonna be a lot of dedication and hard work that I'm not willing to do right now <laughs> when I have 20 minutes left to stream. So, but I'm gonna have to do that to get this platinum trophy.
Yeah, there might be. Hopefully Diablo 4 comes out. Maybe by next year's BlizzCon, like you said, they'll announce it. That would be really cool. Alright, so let's go forward then. I'll go the way I just came. Go back to where I'm supposed to go here. Follow this blinking arrow. Oh yeah, I was just going to say, guys. I don't know if... Uh, not say aesthetic. I don't know if either of you guys are into Pokemon. Or were into Pokemon. When you were kids. But... Pokemon Go for mobile is freaking addictive as hell. It is such an awesome game. I don't know if you got, like I said, I don't know if you guys are into it or not, but if you even remotely know about Pokemon or have seen it or have played any of the games, I highly recommend downloading Pokemon Go. It is the most addictive crap ever. Like, you go, it's, you literally walk around your actual world in real life, like around your neighborhood, around your freaking train stations, around everything, like work, your t downtown area, marketplaces, and Pokemon show up in virtual reality, like it's an augmented reality thing, where you aim your phone and it uses your phone's camera, and you see Pokemon in the real world, it's friggin' insane. And then you have to throw Pokeballs at them, catch them, you can take over gyms, different like real life locations or real life places in your world or in your neighborhood will be a gym. Pokemon gym and you can go and somebody might be owning that gym right now you can battle that person with the Pokemon that you've caught and take that gym over it's insane it's just insane it's a really really good really good game so Tree of Savior isn't doing that great I know I know I saw I really wanted to pick up Tree of Savior again too because I think the um, open beta is now so that's another thing said I think before we start a new game we should definitely finish Van Helsing but after Van Helsing's done, maybe maybe you and I can pick up Tree of Savior because I think, like I said, it's an open beta now. We can give that a shot together. Oh yeah! Nox, you really listen, Nox. You really, really should give it a shot. It is addictive as hell. I'm telling you. Right now, I have like 28 or 29 Pokemon that I've caught. Um, it's crazy. I, when I go to work now, it's it's pretty cool that I work at City Hall because when I go to work, there are so many Poke Stops and different like um, gyms and stuff in that area because there's a lot of monuments and different statues and things like that that, that have become gyms and, and Pokemon stops. So when I go to work, like on my lunch break and stuff, I'll walk around. And, uh, it's really cool. Like, it's really cool to do that. You should definitely check it out. I actually, yesterday, I was walking around City Hall, and I went to one of the statues behind City Hall, which is a Pokestop. And that's where you, like, restock on Pokeballs and potions and stuff like that. And I saw some other random dude walk up with his phone and walk over to the statue and stop. And I kind of just, I didn't say anything to him. I, you know, maybe I should have, but he kind of, like... I, I glanced over and I looked at his phone and he was playing Pokemon Go too, which was pretty funny. Like we both ended up meet, being at the same location for the same reason. I think that's going to happen a whole lot. Yeah, the White House is a gym. It's pretty funny. The White House has a Blastoise right now at the top of it because someone who owned a Blastoise took, took over the White House. It's pretty cool. Um. Another friend lives in a gym. He just sits at home and has way too many. Po <laughs> That's funny. That's really well. The thing is, I work in City Hall, and City Hall is a Pokestop. So I have all these. Po I have as many Pokeballs as I'll ever need. I just sit in work, and I can spin the thing and get as many Pokeballs as I want. Every five minutes, it resets. But it's a really, really cool game. I definitely recommend giving it a shot. It just came out like two days ago, so not a lot of people, you know, are, are that high level yet. But now it's the perfect time to jump into it. Oh crap, he's not in darkness anymore? I thought that was supposed to last three turns. Three turns went by already? That's crazy. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he still got darkness inflicted. He just got an attack in. Oh, that sucks.
Listen, if you try it on your current phone, as long as you sign up with a Google account, make sure you don't. There's a there's two ways to log into the game, either with a Google account or a Pokemon Trainer Club account. I highly recommend don't do a Pokemon Trainer Club because if their servers ever go down on their end on the Pokemon Trainer's website or whatever, you're not going to be able to log into the game. And there were a lot of server issues, of course, during the launch of the game, just like any game launch. Too many people at once, you know. But everybody with the Pokemon Trainer Club account had even more difficulty logging on because if there's like a dual log on, you know, completely dependent on the Pokemon servers if you do it that way. If you log on with a Google account, Google servers are way more stable. So, um, and then you can also carry it from phone to phone. So, for example, if you have an Android, you log in with your Google account, you're, you're good. Like, if you get a new phone, all you have to do is just, as soon as you download the game, if that new phone is tied to the same Google account that you used, the first time, you just log in with your Google account again and you're good to go. You have all your progress. It's a really, really cool game. Highly recommend it. Well, Knox, if you want, you could just download the APK. Do you have an Android phone? If you have an Android phone, you don't have to worry about the App Store because you could just download the APK from a website. The APK is the Android package. And you just install it that way through the APK. Oh, sick. I have an S7. That's exactly what I have. I have a Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, which you, see, you can see it has, um, it has the edge to it. You can see like, the edge of the screen on it. It's pretty cool. But anyway, just download the APK, Knox, and install it that way. So just sideload it. That's what I had to do anyway to install Pokemon Go when it first came out because it wasn't out in the U.S. App Store yet. It was, like, officially released, but the U.S., you know, the Google Play Store didn't have it in the store yet. So there, were, there was a way to just download the APK and load it onto your phone that way. I'm very, trust me, I'm very into... Uh, all that technological crap. I really like all the tech stuff and um, learning how to work around things and do all that crap. I just realized I only have like 10 minutes left before I have to go and I might not get to another save point before I have to go. So what I think I'm going to do is backtrack again to where I just was where the chocobos were and all because there was a save point in that in Rin's shop. So in the meantime, I could just grind, then I'll, I'll, run, I'll run back and just grind these monsters until I have to go, because I only have like 10 minutes left. Sadik, that feature is good only if you download it from an APK that was ripped directly from the store. There's also, obviously, the option to install modified APKs by people that hacked into them or messed with them in some way, and that could definitely be unstable and, you know virus you know. so you don't want to do that but if you downloaded a, if you download a trusted APK That's how it's from, done. that was ripped directly from the store there's there's different sites that are basically trusted sites to make sure that you're not the, you know downloading APKs from a weird place then it's not that bad um, you just have to make sure that you know it's from a trusted website and they also excuse me they also have apps that you can download that will scan an APK for you before you install it to make sure that there's no viruses before you, you know, before you put it in your phone like that. Oh, the edge! Oh, <laughs> Oh, my bad. I thought you were talking about side looting apps. You don't like the edge. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess, you know. You have to, uh... You have to be somebody that likes that feature, obviously, if you're gonna have it as your main thing. And I do, I like that feature. Yo, Red Mage V01, what's up, man? Have I ever done the end game content before? So, I played this game back on PlayStation 2. 